Labour is coming out in support of safe standing. We're saying it's about taking it out of Whitehall, devolving the decisions down to local clubs who know their stadiums so well, and saying it's about giving the powers to the local clubs together with their supporters and their safety authorities to decide whether a small section of their stadia could be used for standing safely and enjoying the match. Well, currently people aren't allowed to stand but they are still persistently standing. This makes it very difficult to police and the safety ground standard authority have admitted this is incredibly hard to police. So at the moment in matches people are having their vision obstructed, their their, their enjoyment of the game diminished because they might need to remain seated and people are standing in front of them. This also has a safety element to it which we're taking incredibly seriously because if people are standing in the higher tiered areas they're at greater risk of falling. So what this means is that there could be potentially the introduction of a portion of the stadium that has railed seating or if deemed to be safe to do so, people can stand in seated areas with maybe some small minor modifications. But this will be decided by the clubs themselves rather than by someone at Whitehall. I think obviously the all-seater stadia came around as a result of an, a necessary change in legislation at the time. But football has moved on and this is about looking forward to a new era of football spectating. It's not right that in, very, in the very same stadium where people are not permitted to stand and watch football, the very same week they can stand at a pop concert or they can stand at a rugby match. So fans have unequivocally said that they would like the option to be able to stand and this has been overwhelmingly supported. Well, with regards to safe standing, I have held a comprehensive consultation process over a number of months. This has involved speaking to, even just this week, 50 fans, supporters groups. I've spoken to safety authorities, I've spoken to the Premier League, the English Football League, all of the major stakeholders. They've all expressed a disappointment at the way the government has engaged or not engaged actually with them. And as a result, they felt as though their voice hasn't been heard. And when West Bromwich put in an application for, for there to be permission to have an area of their stadium where there could be permission to stand it was rejected with very little detail as to why the rejection took place. Now fans are saying they haven't been listened to, the Labour Party have been listening and as a result we are coming out in favour of safe standing. I would say there's no one size fits all model. These decisions will be taken by the club on a case by case basis. This will be the club working together with the fan support groups, listening to them locally, together with the local safety authorities to say, is this safe? Does this work for their club? And if they find it doesn't and their fans don't want it, then of course, I'm sure they won't implement it. But I will say that so many surveys have been conducted and overwhelmingly the results from those, along with my own personal survey, which I have encouraged people to fill in on my website, people have overwhelmingly come out and said that they would like the op opportunity to stand safely or, if they prefer to sit, not to have their vision obstructed by someone who's standing in front of them. But ultimately, this is about safety and it's about fans enjoying our national game.